Hey everybody, it's time for the what is it bag for this week. You ready? Help me sing. Here we go. What is it? What is it? What is it? Do you know? It's a... Uh, hmm, there's a few things in here today. Ooh, it's a picture of a bedroom. I'll hang it up here so we can see it. Ooh, it's a picture of a kitchen. Let me do some cooking in there. It's a picture of a, ooh, a living room. I see, I see a couch and a TV. And it's a picture of a bathroom. Hmm, I wonder, what do you think all these pictures have in common? Where do you find a kitchen, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a living room? Where do you find them? At your house, or your home, or where you live. This week we're talking all about our homes and our neighborhoods. So everyone's home looks different. You might live in a house, you might live in an apartment building, you might live in a trailer, you might live in a townhouse, but we do the same things in our house. We t sleep, that's where we do it, at our house. We eat, we make food in the kitchen. We have a bathroom at our house, and we have a living room, some sort of place where we sit and talk with our families. I wanna read a book, uh, it's called Two Tall Houses. It's about two different kinds of houses. Now, uh, these are different kinds of houses because one is for a rabbit and one is for an owl. But let's read it. It's still a very good book about different kinds of houses. Two Tall Houses. Rabbit and Owl lived in two small houses on the top of a hill. Rabbit liked to grow vegetables in the sun and Owl enjoyed the view, the view of the forest. In the evening, they played under the twilight sky. They were good neighbors and good friends. Neighbors are people who live close to each other. Until one day. I wonder what's going to happen. Rabbit Owl complained, your garden is growing too tall. I can't see the forest. But what can I do, replied Rabbit. I have to grow my food. So Owl began to build his house taller. Rabbit watched and chittered his teeth. Owl, look what you did. Your house is blocking the sun from reaching my garden. But I have to see the forest, said Owl. So Rabbit built his house taller too and planted some vegetables on the roof. But when Rabbit watered his rooftop plants, uh oh, what's gonna happen? It made Owl very angry. Look, he got water on him. So Owl built his house even taller. I want to be the tallest, yelled Rabbit. What, screeched Owl? You are so far below me that I can't hear you. So Rabbit built his house even taller and put a fence around his garden. you think you are screeched owl and he went to find more twigs for his house and rabbit went to fetch more soil for his house do you remember soil is another name for what dirt yep and soon they had the two tallest houses in the world look i'll turn it this way you see the earth's down there and their houses go all the way up there owl i can't carry water up my I can't carry water up my ladder, cried Rabbit. And I can't see the forest, said Owl. Way up high, the wind roared and bellowed. Whoosh! Creak! And blew the two tall houses into the air. Crack! Whoosh! Hold on, Rabbit, cried Owl. They landed with a plunk. All I have left is a pile of dirt, moaned Rabbit. My house is a bunch of bo broken twigs, sighed Owl. Alone they had nothing. But together, they had all they needed. And they built one small house. Look at that. 
So there are lots of different types of houses, even animals have houses as we saw. But here's what I want you to do. I want you to get out a piece of paper and I want you to draw a picture of your home, of where you live. And remember, homes usually have some place to sleep, some place to eat, a bathroom, and some place to sit and talk like a living room. So happy drawing. Bye.